Yeah. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to see uh, explanation of table. So how we can uh, solve a table in IELTS. So as uh, many people know, we do have uh, the fourth type of chart in academic task when that's in the classical type. So other types are bar chart, uh, line graph, pie chart, and the last one is table. So these uh, four are the common classical type of uh, task, one academic task, one which we encounter in our IELTS exam. So uh, let's see how can we solve a table, particularly uh, I, I will go with an example here. Yes, you can see the screen here. I can say that these are very important. So what is shown in X axis and what is shown in Y axis, these are important. So these two are the things that we are going to compare in a table. So this way and this way both ways we need to compare. And first we need to assess whether this table is a static table or a movement table. And what do you mean by static table? And what do you mean by movement table? So a static table is uh, a table which the information is given only in uh, one particular point of time. So, you know, that for example, 20, 100. So there won't be 20, not five and 20, not nine there. So this is not a static table. This is a movement table. So we do have movements here. So the years are advancing and we can definitely say this is a movement table. It's not the data of a particular year or a particular period of time, particular point of time sorry so this is to be seen the vertical axis the horizontal axis is the way we need to compare here we have four types of schools and we have three years there one two three this is ascending in order so at 20 hundred we have a four year gap here and the, yeah, sorry. Uh, and again, we have a four year gap here. Uh, we, uh, we do have to see the trends here. The next is the trend. We can say 12, it's minus one. It's minus one. So I can definitely say this is negative. So the trend is negative in case of specialized school. In case of grammar schools, it's also negative. This also minus, this also minus. So it's minus five here. Yeah, it's minus four here. Uh, yeah, it's again minus five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. And now, um, I can say this is also negative. The trend is negative in grammar schools. Now I have a look at this voluntary controlled schools, 52, again minus, again minus. So we have around 14 here. I think it's 14. 38 plus 10, 48 plus, yeah, 14. Here yeah, it's 18 here. So again, I can say it's negative. Now in case of community schools, this is exceptional here. We can see positive trend. We can see positive, it's increasing. You can see 12 plus 10, 22 plus 10, 20 here, 42. 30, 42, 52, 26 here. 
So this is the trend here. It is an exception. You can say, I told you we have to compare in this way, both the horizontal and the vertical axis we need to see. So I look at both this, uh, both the way I look at this way here, I have a rule, uh, I have understood that these three uh, schools, specialist, grammar, and voluntary schools have a negative trend and negative growth, whereas community schools have um, positive growth. So it's, it's the thing. So I have uh, understood the trend here. Now I have to say, first I have seen whether this is a movement chart or a, a static chart. I understood this is a movement chart. So I, now I have to go ahead with the uh, tense there. I have to use past tense because it is written in past tense. Okay. So, and the tense is clear. It's a movement chart. Now I have to write a clear cut introduction. What exactly is the picture? What's it about? The picture is a table. It shows uh, the performance of the schools from 2000 to 2009. So you can see an overview. Majority of the schools have declined its popularity, whereas community schools have gained its popularity. This is the overview, a clear cut overview. Then in the explanation paragraph, you can say the first three in one group. So we are grouping it, the first three in one group. So or how can we arrange the groups? So which, uh, which school has the, which school suffered the lowest, uh, the maximum lows, the worst lows uh, is for the voluntary control school. So I have to present this first. The second loss is for this person, this grammar schools, and the third for the specialized school. So I have written in that order. So from the worst sufferer to the least sufferer. Then the next group, I have to say about the community schools, the next paragraph, this is the next group. So we have to read on the contrary or on the other hand, the performance of the community schools was exceptional. So it went from uh, the, the positive, it, it was positive. So this is the trend. This, this is what we have to present the table. So we need first be assessed, analyze the table, thoroughly. Second, uh, we have uh, uh, seen whether it's a moment data or a static data. So we analyzed it's a moment data. Next, we have seen what tense it is, it's past tense. Then we have uh, formed, um, framed a clear cut overview. Next, we have seen uh, the grouping, we grouped into the trends. As per the trends, it's increasing, increasing. All the increasing trends is grouped in one paragraph. And uh, no, the decreasing uh, is in one paragraph and the increasing in another paragraph. So that's it. So this is a way we need to see the table. This is, this is a simple example. Uh, you'll be getting more complex tables in the real examination. So I think you need, this is just an example, uh, just sample for your understanding. Hope you have understood this thing. Thank you.